We are thrilled uh, to be, as far as we know, the first to embark on an aquaponics project within an urban hotel. It's the right thing to do. When, when you look at uh, the carbon footprint that uh, goes towards the produce that is imported into, into Singapore, um, it's going to save so much uh, carbon emissions. The amount of plastic that is brought in from the vegetables that we currently use um, is going to decrease dramatically. So from a sustainability point of view, it's a, it's a great story and it's also it's the right thing to do. We as a hotel at Fairmont Singapore and Swiss Hotel The Stanford have led the way in many sustainability elements throughout our properties. At our Raffle City Convention Centre, we've um, introduced water stations where we have uh, filtered hot, cold and uh, sparkling water. We no longer have plastic bottles. At Swiss Hotel, we've uh, taken out the amenity bottles and have pump action bottles. At um, Fairmont, we have taken out um, the plastic bottles from the Fairmont South Tower and put in hot and cold filtered water. Uh, we were the first uh, to put in a fully automated uh, system for check-in and check-out. So we like to be pioneers and uh, this aquaponics project for us is uh, a fabulous addition to the sustainability elements that we have throughout the hotel. We're very much in the early stages of our aquaponics project. You know, we're testing what works, what, what doesn't work, which vegetables will grow in it, which may, maybe not so well. Um, but we also envisage that we'll be able to grow, grow flowers um, with, within there. We're testing things like strawberries, um, tomatoes. So, you know, we, we really want to grow this project as much as we can. Initially, we expect that uh, the aquaponics farm will produce 30% of our vegetable needs within the hotel and 10% of our fish needs per month. There will be some lettuces or some, some vegetables that we will no longer need to buy in. Uh, they'll purely come from our farm. People talk about farm to table quite often and uh, we're very keen from our farm to table. We'll be able to do it in about 20 minutes. Uh, so that'll be as fresh as, as you can get. Singapore has embarked on a 2030 vision um, of reducing the uh, imports of uh, food from 90% to 70%. So it's 30% locally grown. So we very much aligned with Singapore's 2030 vision of producing 30% locally. And our farm uh, is, is a great start towards that. You know, as, as I said earlier, you know, we'll produce 30% of our vegetable needs um, within the hotel purely from, from that farm. And uh, we expect to, to build on that and, and enhance it in the future. The wonderful thing about this project is that the freshness of the produce our guests are going to receive. Currently, you know, the, the vegetables are, that are imported into Singapore from Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, you know, it takes time to, to get here. From our farm, our guests are going to get the freshest. There's no chemicals used, there's no pesticides used. So th this is as fresh as, as you can get. And so from a guest point of view, they're going to get an amazing product. As a chef, it's very important to use local produce where possible. Um, here in Singapore, it's obviously a bit of a challenge because more than 90% of the produce comes from outside of Singapore. Here at the property, we work with local uh, fish farms. Uh, we also work with a local oyster supplier. For us, it's, it's ideal to know that, for example, we can use our own products from the hotel uh, and reduce uh, bringing products from, say, uh, Malaysia. Uh, not only does it reduce the carbon imprint, but it also helps us to reduce plastic that is used as well. The size of uh, these two hotels uh, is very important with uh, the volumes that we're actually using um, and also the impact that we can have um, on, on the environment uh, in, any, in any way is important in the current climate. Um, so we try to encourage our team um, to look at the operation uh, and see where they can actually make an impact. It also gives people to, uh, the opportunity to make an impact outside of the hotel. Uh, within the hotel we also work with our own CSR initiative uh, where we take uh, the team outside of the hotel to do give back to the local community. Uh, we also uh, have started working with a local initiative called Food Bank where we will give um, produce that is left over from particular events 
um, to them and then they will distribute it to uh, those who are needy in Singapore. Uh, and for a, quite a few years we've also been donating on a daily basis to uh, Food from the Heart, uh, who also uh, share this with those in the community. At the moment, because this was our initial um, setup, we, we've grown a variety of different um, vegetables, such as uh, kangkong, um, about five different types of lettuce, um, different types of both um, European and local um, spinach, um, a host of different mints and herbs, uh, and we've also been growing uh, edible flowers. Um, so far at the moment, the, the lettuces uh, and the um, the different types of spinach are the ones that have grown the best in that environment um, but we're also experimenting, we've just planted out some uh, Japanese white strawberries to see how they also grow in, in the aquaponics garden. So we're also in the garden we have a uh, red tilapia uh, which is currently in three different stages of growth uh, and we're also sourcing a uh, jade perch which we will use in the restaurants and um, also in banqueting. Um, these will be used in a variety of restaurants from Sky, Clove, uh, Asian Market Cafe and Kopitiam. Well, basically here what we have is um, fish tanks where the fish would emit the waste, okay, and the uneaten food will be uh, collected and flowed on to these systems here. This bed basically collects all the fish waste and uneaten food and it goes through what we call a wetting bed here. The wetting bed basically collects all the waste material and feeds it to the plants. So this is the first level of collection and uh, extraction of the waste. Uh, after it goes through these beds here, the plant basically absorbs all the nutrients and then it flows back to the taller systems and then it goes back into the filters and back into the fish tank. So we are actually running a complete cycle system. What's interesting about this system is that we don't use any pesticides whatsoever or any chemicals at all. So the fish waste is basically the most important part of the nutrient system for the plants. And then um, the plants just absolutely grow out of these things. The key difference between hydroponic and aquaponic is that hydroponic does not use fish, whereas aquaponic is relying on the fish waste as the nutrient base. Um, hydroponic is um, completely using chemicals or uh, what we call mineral-based uh, nutrients to fertilize the plants, all right, or to give nutrients to the plants.